Hi there guys, hopefully you are all doing well. I'm Neil at Italia Autos and welcome to another video on my channel. Behind me we have an Alpha GT that has a poorly oil leak. The oil cooler has started leaking, so I'm gonna be fitting an upgraded set of oil cooler pipes and oil coolers to it. Now this is the oil cooler kit I'm going to be fitting. I believe that this is the best one out there. I will put details of it in the description below. Main reason I think it's the best one because the pipes are super high grade and I don't think they're ever going to fail for the rest of the life of the car. So uh, I do prefer fitting these over any other ones available. So here's the poorly culprit. I have just removed the front bumper and as it's up in the air, I haven't removed the other side and I'm supporting it with my crane there so it doesn't cause any stress to it um, quite simple to change we've got a couple of 10 mil nuts on the outside here a couple of clips here to remove the shield and then a couple of bolts underneath here a couple of bolts at the top and then a couple of bolts up towards the engine there which need to be changed so let's start by removing this cover up here probably just out of sight of you a two eight mil nuts up here so I'm going to undo those first And there's a 10 mil at the bottom. And then you've just got a clip in here, which will hopefully come out with a little bit of a pry. There we go. And then finally, there are just two clips on this side. Hopefully we can get to them from behind. Yep. So as you can see by the condition of the oil cooler here, it's leaking from the oil cooler itself and it's also leaking from these joints here and here. So the best thing to do is to just change the whole lot. It comes as a complete kit. And I'll put all the price and information in the description below. Now you are gonna lose a fair old chunk of oil and you're gonna to wanna to put buy an oil filter and some oil once you've changed all this just so you've got all fresh oil in the car. So let's undo these two now. We are going to lose plenty of oil from the vehicle, so make sure you've got a drain underneath it. As it's so covered in oil, it does make it a bit easier to remove those little nuts. And this is where we'll have lots of oil coming out. Yay! And I made a mess on my floor already. I'll just allow that five minutes for the oil to totally drain out of it and then we'll remove the rest of the oil cooler. Now, lack of access up here, so I'm gonna use a 10 mil ratchet spanner on these here, just to give me the best access if they will come undone. There we go, there's one. If they come off or snap, it doesn't matter because you are gonna be using a new oil cooler. Now the bolt on the other side is rounded off, it's rusted and just gone all crappy, so I'm gonna to have to cut it off. So make sure that you wear all your PPE when you're doing the smallest of grinding jobs. So it was really quite awkward to get in there to grind or cut off that little uh, bolt, so I had to sort of snap it off. This is scrap anyway, because as you know, it's leaking from there. So that's going in the bin. We've got two brand new bolts to go in here with nuts and washers to go on top. Technically, that's the odd bit done now. And now let's just temporarily put those pipes on here out of the way. They are self-sealing, so you don't need to put anything on them. So now we just need to undo these two old pipes which are still on the car. So I'm gonna get it further up in the air so we can see a little bit better. 
Not too sure how well you can see that from there, but we've just got two Allen headed bolts here. They can sometimes rust, and if you don't get them in right, you can round them off very easily. I've got one out. I think I've man probably managed to round that one off a little bit myself just because it didn't go in there right. Let's just pull this pipe out and straighten the bin. And then with this one, I think there's loads of crap in it or something. So let's try to clean it out a bit. Ah, there we go, it's covered up. And then give the whole surface a little clean up. A few stubborn bits on there, so we'll get a blade on there just to clean it all up properly. We want a good mating service. A mate. We want a good mating surface for the new pipes. We've got a minute for the fluid to evaporate. Make sure there's no dirt, grime, or dust in there. And now we can put our nice shiny new ends in. Now I don't have any new bolts to go in here of the same length, so I'm going to reuse the old ones. And now we should just be able to swing the pipes under and stick them on. Um, I'll do this one at the bottom, this one at the top. want to make sure that they are nicely lined up because you don't want to wreck the threads the first time you put it on. I forgot to say what I've also done is I've cleaned the lines out as well just to make sure there's no debris in there not that there would be but just in case. That's tight and now for the ones this side. Okay, they're all tight. So now the final job, final job should I say, put the cover back on and then we can change the oil. Right, I've now fitted the outer cover. I've clipped the two clips in here and attached the two eight mils at the top. There isn't unfortunately a place to secure it at the bottom, but it is fairly secure anyway, so that should be okay. Um, there are, technically two ways you can fit the oil cooler if you fit it the other way around it's a little bit too proud to refit this old cover some people will fit it some people won't so i fit it this way so we can then refit this cover Oil change has now been done, all the levels have been checked and triple checked, just checking for any leaks now. I have left the car running for five minutes just to make sure there's no weepage and we look good on all four parts of the pipe work. Just so I can show you the stiffness of the pipes, they aren't going anywhere, I'm not tying them up, I don't need to, they're all perfectly tight and um, they aren't going anywhere.
you go guys, that is how you fit an oil cooler to this diesel GT. Quite a simple job, nothing really stressful at all when doing it, you've just got to be careful you don't double thread any of the nuts and bolts, and taking that oil cooler off, it's quite awkward getting those two nuts off. So uh, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, I've got a Patreon page, and I've also got a YouTube channel membership. So there you go guys, I shall see you in the next video.